How is it going lads? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today I've got a great video for you. I'm showing you guys how to get a couple of free 100k packs. For cheap, fast and reliable foot coins, check out u7buy.com. There is a link in the description and use the code HABER to get yourself a discount on all of your orders. Now, I feel like I'm scamming you a little bit there because it's not necessarily free. It takes you around three hours of your time to complete but you spend no money spend no coins and you get these 100k packs in fifa 21 now these are in the milestone objectives you've got finishing mastery and assist mastery if we go into finishing mastery you have to score 500 goals with a squad rating of 85 plus and in assist mastery you have to get 500 assists with a squad of 85 plus now i have been doing this in beginner squad battles and i average between 30 and 40 goals a game let's say i get 35 goals every game it's going to take you probably 14 or 15 games in squad battles to get that done and in total around four or five hours of, of total gameplay playing um squad battles and scoring a load of goals and i know it's it's actually painstakingly boring and it's mind-numbingly boring and i totally understand that but if you're a grinder and you're grinding a road to glory i think two 100k packs will really help you out bear in mind these are untradeable but you can get a lot of good fodder or you can get a lot of good uh, players that can work towards your team. Now, an 85 plus team is kind of hard to build, but I'm, I'm going to show you guys an example here. So this team actually cost me 40,000 coins for the outfield players. And on the bench, we have got Chesney, who's about 10k, Busquets, who's about 10k, David Silva's around 6k, same with Hummel, same with Muller. Uh, Henderson is about 15k, but you can replace him with Sommer, who's 6k. I just use him because I had him in the club. And then another 87, for example, Navas or a cheaper 87, they're uh, again really cheap at around 10 11k um so realistically you can do this for no more than 80 90k and just sell the players straight after um it's not that difficult to get an 85 squad and especially given the fact you make those kind of coins from rival rewards uh, sorry from rival placement this year anyway um it's really really easy and i highly recommend it it's just if you've got the time now you can do it passively and just build an 85 squad based on uh your normal squad and go into rivals and things like that but i think for three or four hours of your time, it's worth going to do it to get two 100k packs. Even if you don't get anything good, you're getting a lot of players for the club. And I think it's definitely something to go for. Now, uh, in the middle of, of doing that, you can actually get an extra 50,000 coin pack um, without doing anything extra now that's also in finishing mastery and that's uh for 100 finesse shots if you score 100 finesse shot goals you get a 50k pack i've already opened mine but again that one's even easier that that you can do in three squad battles games all i was doing in squad battles was going into squad battles um on beginner difficulty of the easiest teams that i could find and uh i was going in and winning for example that one's nine nil but I was going in, I've won games 35 nil, 40 nil, 42 nil, 45 nil. Um, I've done a, a lot of games uh, in squad battles. And if you do get, uh, say, for example, a 59 chem, you'll find that some of them have outfield players in goal, make it even easier. And I've gained 9,000 squad battle points from all my beginner games. So you'll end up getting squad battle rewards at the end of the week. If you, say, for example, play 10 or 12 games, um in squad battles and, and you get it done within those 10 or 12 maybe a little bit longer say say you do it in 13 games uh, and you score about 40 goals a game um you'll probably find yourself with a decent amount of squad battle points you can even go in play a few more games on a higher difficulty and get some decent rewards you kind of kill two birds with one stone or even if you're going for the 50k pack three birds one stone and you get the packs at the end of the day. So in my opinion, really easy. I thought I'd make this informational video for you guys to help you guys out. Hopefully you guys can get yourself some free 100k packs and happy days in that regard. Uh, we're going to open these up now and see what we can get. Fingers crossed we can get something good. We might not get anything, you know, and it might have been a complete waste of time. But fodder is going to be really good. If we get any decent plays, that will help out as well. The first one is not going to be a walkout or a board. Oh, gosh. Oh, Neil. I am really hoping that the same glitch as last year is effective here and there is there is a board in here at least because that if not that's um yeah that's not good and it doesn't look good on me promoting you spending three or four hours of your time playing squad battles to get a 76 rated cannonball card does it please EA please I beg be better than that oh I tell you what that isn't bad at all that is a really good pack so we've got Donnarumma doesn't have amazing value, but Nyingalan, who's got a 40,000 coin value, maybe a bit more than that. In fact, we're going to go on footbin and tally up how much we could have made here. So Nyingalan is going for a solid 20,000 coins, so not, not 40,000 coins. But Alan as well is going for, how much is Alan these days? 75,000 coins. So that's 95k. Saul is about 5k. Let's call it 100k. All in all, 
the total value of this pack, I would say is in excess of maybe 105, 110K. And that's not bad. To get like a player like Allen, for example, and Trader will be in the club for a very long time. Same with Nangolan or Nangolan. Um, that That's really good in my opinion. That in, like, I think that's really decent. Then you've obviously got players like uh, Nerez, Teixeira, uh, all players that are going to be really good to have in the club. Um, that is pretty solid. Now, I actually already have an untradeable Allen. So for me, it's a bit of a letdown. I'm going to have to discard it. But I think that's decent. That just goes to show that you can get some good stuff without it being bored. Now, second 100k pack. Hopefully, this one's a little bit better. It'd be nice to see a walkout. It's not a walkout. It is a board this time. It's an in-form. It's going to be... Uh, I don't know. I have no idea who this is. Is it someone good? Probably not, right? Nian? I mean, it's, it's not bad. Good. I mean, if we get an, an SBC that requires an in-form, it's pretty good. It could be a decent super sub as well. Um, what else have we got in the pack? Ericsson, Vinicius Jr. That's not bad. So this guy, I honestly, I think he's about 10K. He, he's not looking good. But uh, Ericsson on footbin is currently going for about 11K. So not too bad. I think Vinicius Jr. has got a decent value on footbin as well. He's currently going for 16K. I think Rusion has also got a decent value here. Uh, he is currently going for 18k. So that's about 30 or 40k worth of players right there, straight off the bat. Do we have anything in the uh, in the dupes? Not really. Nothing with a huge value, but still, like, truthfully, if I was on the road to glory right now and I got those two 100k packs and I got the likes of Vinicius Jr., Alex Teixeira, Allen, Roussillon, Ericsson, Nangalan, I would be very happy and I think that would be incredibly beneficial and I will do this on the Xbox Road to Glory and I'll let you guys know what I get on the Xbox Road to Glory when we do it but that's not too shabby I think that's really decent obviously we've been a bit unlucky um, and I think that you know you could definitely get a bit luckier than I have but I think that's still decent I don't think that's bad at all um, and hopefully you guys get better luck than I do but I do highly recommend doing this objective like I said, it's a lot of time, I know, and, and I totally understand that it's not necessarily free, time is money, and it's a bit of a schematic there, but I still think it's, it's decent, I still think that you can get a couple of objectives done here within the same time frame, and to be honest, gets you closer to that 50k pack here as well, um, where you have to assist in 100 separate games, like I've played 71 games so far, um, it gets you closer to that, that one as well, so truthfully, don't think it's necessarily bad. Um, it's up to you whether you want to spend your time doing it or not. I'd recommend doing it. Um, I'd recommend getting yourself the 200Ks and the, the 50K pack for finesse goals. And let me know down below if you do do it, what you get in the pack. Thank you all for watching this video. Hopefully it was helpful to you guys. If it was, smash a like down below and leave a comment down below if it was. Thank you all for watching. Subscribe if you're new around here. And I'll see you lads later.